What's going on guys? Today we're doing the long-awaited scissor. Here is what it looks like. That's the move and here is a slow-mo. Now, the thing with a lot of aerials, such aerials. as the basic aerial, is it doesn't really matter how you set it up, right? You throw it in the air and you can usually just wing it and catch it. You're a little late, you're a little early, it doesn't matter. With the scissor, because you're catching one handle in a very specific way, it's really important to have consistent timing when you're learning. Otherwise, you don't know if you're messing up because your throw was weird, or because you caught wrong, or what. So, in order to get consistent timing, I'm going to give you one way to do it, but there's many ways. You're going to begin holding the safe handle with your four fingers underneath and your thumb on top, like so. And what I like to do is from here, fling the bite handle backwards over your thumb, forwards over your index finger, backwards over your thumb, forwards over your index finger, and then throw. And so what that looks like is something like this. Right. So what that does is basically it gives you lots of time to study yourself and it really gets a consistent lead up to the throw and so you can really keep the throw consistent. Another thing that might be easier for you is just a simple Y2K, right? That's another way of getting things consistent. But um, I'm, for this trick, I'm gonna be doing the back forward, back forward, and that's just what I like. Now, to begin learning this move, um, there's two different routes you can go. So one of them, um, that's a really great option, is if you have a trainer. So this is the Squid Industries Triton, which I have reviewed, and I really like this trainer. It's really great. Link's going to be in the description. But a trainer basically allows you to practice doing twirling and say, for example, you mess up, which let's see how long I can go. A really nice thing about this back forward thing is you can really um, line them up like this, or you can just do them over and over again. So that's too many. Maybe I can't mess up with this. That's how good this trainer is. But <laughs> for real though, the point is you can practice and if you mess up and catch the blade, you're fine. This is, aerials are something that I do recommend trainers for. So you can go for a trainer, um, but the way I'm going to teach this, I think it's pretty safe to do it with a live blade. All right, so I'm going to break this down into four different steps. Beginning with, all you're going to do is you're going to do this back forward, back forward, a throw, and let her rip. Let her go. And the reason for that is you're just getting used to the throw, right? So you're hanging on to the safe handle. You're doing back, forward, back, forward, and up in the air. So obviously you'll have that figured out in no time flat. Once you have that figured out, what you can do is if you've got a little bit of balls, you can go for a catch. And so a simple catch using this throw is catching in the closed position on the bite handle. And so the way that'll work, right, is you go back, forward, back, forward, up, the blade passes, you catch the bite handle, and she closes just like that. And this will be a little bit longer of a spin than a standard basic aerial. All right, this will be just a hair longer. And if you can do the standard basic aerial, this shouldn't be too much of a challenge for you. All right, so at this point, you can do this back forward, back forward, and the catch better than that. You can actually catch it. This shouldn't be hard, right? You should be able to pull this off if you can do a basic aerial. Now, once you can do that, the next step is slightly harder, but nothing crazy. What you're going to do is you're going to do this back forward, back forward, and you're going to catch the safe handle instead. All right? And so all that is, is it's going to be a little bit shorter, but it's around the same time, where it's a little bit longer than a basic aerial, but a little bit shorter than what you just did. So all you're going to do right back, forward, back, forward, up in the air, and catch the safe handle. And so up, around, and catch. The timing is very similar to the... Um, the first catch that we did with the bite handle in the closed position. 
So, all right, so you can do the back forward, back forward, throw into nothing. You can do the back forward, back forward, catch with the bite handle. And then now you can do the back forward, back forward, catch on the safe handle, like this. So again, nothing crazy. You're just doing a catch on the safe handle. That's all there is to it. Next, what you're going to do is you are going to take the knife in this position here. All right, so we're kind of going in a different direction. And you're going to hang on to the safe handle with just your thumb and middle finger. It doesn't really matter. With the bite handle hanging down and the blade pointing away from you. What you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand. You're going to take your middle finger and you're going to point it towards the left. You're going to curl in your bottom two fingers. You're going to stick your thumb up and you're going to make this. So it's kind of like a gun with your middle finger pointing out. If any of you guys know anything about electricity, this will be familiar to you. But this is also a balisson trick. So... What you're going to do, you got this position here with your finger, you've got the knife hanging onto it with your other hand, just pinched at the end of the handle. What you're going to begin by doing is moving your hand forward and pinching with your index finger, like so. And you'll notice I don't pinch with my index finger until my middle finger hits here, all right, like so. And what you can do is you can just begin doing this. And what you're going to start to do is you're going to let go of the handle before you do it. Like so. So you see I let go, bam, and I go in and I catch. And the goal is to have my middle finger hit and then my index finger close on it and wind up caught just like this. So something just like that. And you can wait a little bit longer. If you like, it doesn't really matter. This is just getting the feel of the catch, basically. So now you can do this back, forward, back, forward, up, and catch on the safe handle. You can do this middle finger catch type of thing. And maybe you can wait a little bit and do it like that. And now what you're going to do, of course, you figured it out. You're going to put those two things together. And so at the point when you would catch the safe handle... What you're going to do is you're going to take your hand in this weird shape and you're going to stick it in there, connect with your middle finger, and catch. And so this, a lot of people think this trick, right, you got to kind of go in and snag it at the right spot. For me, it's a very much a push forward and a catch, like that. And you'll know you're in the right spot when you hit the safe handle and you can catch it like so. And so what that looks like is something like that. And so you see I kind of... When I throw in the air, I go back to make room. And then when the safe handle comes around, I insert in and I catch like that. And that's all there is to it. So if you can catch the safe handle and you can catch the safe handle, you can do this move. And it's just a matter of timing and getting the throw consistent. And so, of course, one thing I'd recommend, as always, for aerials is the trainer and this is great for that so that's it that's the whole move